Welcome to this Busy Central lunch event related to 2024 release wave 2. Ma, we will introduce you uh, about multiple VAT number for customers and uh, I will do it together with uh, my colleague Arthur Wenzel. Let's see what we will talk about today. We will make first short introduction and this introduction with a flowchart how the uh, how system is going with the business process and then Arthur will show you full demo from setup and uh, how it works in the practice with documents. And on the end, we will close this session with a, a small talk about architecture just to understand how it works in the background. First, uh, why do we need this feature at all? Um, this is very important. This is a legal requirement. When companies operate in different countries across the European Union, uh, they need to have different VAT number in each of countries, even if this is the same company. And now this is not only for European Union, it can be applicable in other countries as well, but this is the, com the most common case in European Union. And now it can be applied not only to customers, it can be applied for all entities, for customers, for our vendors, for our company as well. But uh, we had to start from somewhere. So we couldn't deliver everything in one hit. It was uh, big changes in the VAT uh, system. So we decided to start with the customers. And we decided to start with customers because based on our research, it was the most painful uh, part uh, related with multiple VAT numbers in a business central. So what we did, we just added alternative VAT number and additionally, you can add business posting groups. So how does it work? Uh, first, let's look in a setup. And let's imagine perfect scenario, you configure everything in advance. What does it mean? Uh, you have um, alternative VAT registration table. So you can pass to this table, add all your customers and define all uh, countries they are working with. Uh, you can configure one VAT per country. You cannot have uh, more countries for the same customers because only one, uh, one customer can have only one VAT number in a specific uh, country. And what you need to add there, you need to, you must add VAT registration number and you can optionally add VAT business posting group and general business posting group. This is perfect scenario. So you have everything configured in advance, but this is not something what we can imagine it will work all the time. This is much more realistic scenario. We have customers, we configure for some of them alternative uh, VAT registration, but not for all, all cases. And then you got a phone call, uh, your customer ordered something and said, okay, now I want to add new ship to address in different country. And what you need to do, you need to open ship to address for this customer business central. Once when you uh, create this new ship to address, you will probably have um, different, probably. If you have different uh, country code, you need to configure, but if not, business as usual. This is just additional ship to address. But if country uh, code is different, System will first check if I already have configured alternative VAT number for this country related with this ship to address. If yes, again, nothing will be changed. That's normal. But if you didn't have in this moment, you will be notified. You will get small notification on your uh, card where you will be notified that you need to create, you should be actually uh, create, um, uh, you should create a new alternative VAT um, registration. So you can decide if you want, uh, because maybe by your rules, this is not necessary, but if yes, you just need to say yes to confirm and system will open an alternative VAT registration where you can again enter everything what I previously explained, VAT registration number and posting groups. Now, let's explain how it works in the practice when you work with documents. We will start with sales documents, we are talking about customers, and when I say sales documents, I mean on sales invoice, sales order, um, uh, sales credit memo, so all sales documents. And now you have different ship to address. You can choose an alternative uh, shipping addresses, different uh, address, or eventually if you do not record all these uh, addresses, you can choose custom address and type manually your uh, ship to address for this sales document. Then what system will do? System will again check if ship to address is in different country. If no, business as usual, nothing will be changed, existing VAT number and posting rules will be kept, so nothing will be changed. But if your ship to address, never mind if this is from alternative or custom address, is different, system will use new, new uh, VAT number from your configuration 
the same for posting groups if you uh, have configured posting groups. But if you didn't configure, you will still get notification. You do not have uh, VAT uh, registration for this country, so you can still create um, your configuration for uh, alternative VAT numbers there. But now let's imagine you have everything configured you will be offered with a new uh, VAT number and eventually posting groups. And now you need to choose, do you want to accept or not? In some, because some reasons you do not want to accept. So if no, again, business as usual, nothing will be changed. You can continue to work with doc document as a, for many years ago. But if you want to accept this change, you just need to confirm and system will apply new uh, VAT number to your document and eventually posting groups if you have uh, configured there. What does it mean? Uh, you will get VAT business posting group, general business posting group exists, VAT registration number as well, but you will get VAT country region code. This is new field and you will get all of them different based on your configuration. And now what is additionally important, uh, VAT registration number and VAT country region code will be applied when you post in VAT entry. So after that, you can easily um, filter your VAT entries and you can find uh, uh, which country you want to use for your VAT statements and returns. Uh, just to see how it looks like before we go with the demo, uh, this is how alternative customer VAT registration page exists and uh, how it looks like. So once you are there, you, as I said, you must enter VAT registration number and there is VAT uh, number validation, of course. So if you, in this example, if you have Danish VAT number, it must uh, use uh, validation for Denmark. And optionally, you can add general business posting group and VAT posting group. That's it. So now we will move to demo and Arthur will, jo will uh, join us and show how it works. Thank you, Alexander, for introduction. Uh, let me start with the setup in the business central. I'm in the customer cards. And there are two ways to set up the alternative VAT registration. For the first one, I'm going to open the ship to addresses from the customer card, and I'm going to create a new ship to address. Uh, as you can see, the country region code is now taken from the customer card. Uh, I want to change this. And when I do this, uh, you can notice the notification uh, that it says that the country of the address is different from the customer. And there will be a suggestion to add an alternative customer uh, VT registration. Uh, I have two options here, add and don't show. If I click add, um, a new setup will be added. It will be pre-populated with the customer number and VT count region number taken from the ship to address. So all I need to do is to follow up with the remaining fields. For the VT registration number, I want to intentionally uh, specify the wrong intention number to show you that the VT registration number format check is working. As you can see, it says that uh, the format is not correct. Uh, so I want to choose the right VT registration number. Uh, and I also want to specify the general and VT business group. When I specify the general business group, you can see that VT business group is taken from the default VT business group on the general business one in the same way like it works for the customer. Uh, and that is it for the setup from the ship to address. Uh, now, when I uh, change the country region code to the other one, for example, uh, I'm going to see the very same the very same notification. Now, the other way of doing this, let me get back to the customer card. Next to the ship to address section, there is a new one that is called alternative VT registration. And the very same page will be open when we already have a setup. Now I want to make a setup for Belgium. Uh, I'm going to add the VT registration number and I want to intentionally keep those two fields blank. Uh, They're optional and it is fine to not, uh, to not specify specify that. That is the second way of setting up the feature. Uh, now let's create, uh, now let me get back to the sales orders. I already created some for the sake of times uh, for this customer. And for this sales order, I'm going to use the alternative feature registration number multiple ways. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the shipping and billing. And in the ship to fields, uh, there is an option that's called alternative shipping address. And when I choose this, I have a list of ship to addresses. Uh, I want to choose the one I've just created. And when I do this, uh, I can see the confirmation dialog page. Uh, and I need to explain this 
this confirmation dollar page concept. Uh, since the VT area is a very sensitive one and it can affect posting, uh, we thought that it is a good idea to show the users the confirmation dollar page so they can understand all the consequences of uh, choosing ship to, uh, ship to address field. In this confirmation dollar page, user can see that by choosing this ship to address, uh, the value of VT registration number will be changed from the document one, which is GB and 111, to the alternative one from the setup. And then there are two options. Uh, it is possible to confirm or to cancel. And when I click OK, if I want to confirm this, uh, we, you can notice on the one tab on top, the invoice details tab, you can notice that the VT, con VT country region code and VT registration number has changed. So now we have uh, and now I have Belgium, and now I have the VT registration number from the setup uh, as well. You can also notice that all the VT related fields are now combined under one tab, invoice details. Uh, so you do no need to move uh, through different uh, tabs to find the right field. That is the first option how you can do this through the ship to address. Uh, let me get back to the default one. And I want to pay your attention to the following message. When we change back default ship to address, the values are now taken from the customer card. And this is message to notify the user that the values are taken from the customer card. When I click OK, now you can see that in VT count region code and VT registration number, we have the values from the customer card. Uh, now the second way, uh, if I don't have the ship to address, I can choose the custom address and below I have the country region. So what I can do here, I can choose the country region uh, code that will be associated with the alternative um, VT registration setup. Now you can see the very same confirmation dialog page. Here you ha we have more fields because except the VT registration number, we also specify general business group and VT business group. Uh, I also would like to highlight the option don't show again. Uh, probably at some point user is going to decide that uh, there is no need to show this confirmation dialog page. And if they click don't show again and click OK, uh, whenever user is going to make all the same changes, there will be no confirmation dialog page. Uh, if I want to bring this uh, page uh, back, I need to go to the My Notification Setup, and in the very same way like it works for notification, even though it's the page, we need to search for the alternative, and we can enable uh, the Confirm Alternative Customer VT Registration Setup. And now we have this page back again. Now, when uh, all the data is here, you can post the sales order and all the values will end up in the VT entries. Uh, and now when all the values are there, you can start working on reporting. And there are two more, um, two more things that we implemented, like a side functionality to this one. Um, the first one is in the VT return. Uh, when you create your VT return and you click the suggest lines, now there is a new field that is called country region filter. And you can specify one country, multiple countries, exclusion filter, uh, and this, this uh, filter will be applied to the country region code uh, in the VT entries. Now the very same, the very same field um, is implemented into, in the calculate and post VT settlement. When I run this one, and if I click show more, in the bottom you can see the same filter that is called country region filter. And it works in the very same way. It will be applied to the VT entries uh, uh, that will be filter for the report. Uh, and that is it with the presentation in the Business Central. Now I want to talk about the architecture review. Now, for the architecture view, uh, I have created the, this diagram. It is a bit complex. Uh, let me explain how you need to read it. Um, from the very end of this diagram, there is a consumer. This is our sales model, uh, and we invented the alternative VT registration on top of it. For this sales, sales model, we have the alternative VT registration feature uh, that has three parts. The first part uh, that you can see on the left side of the diagram, the ship to address, the second one, setup consistency, and the third one is document. The first one, ship to address, uh, this is all the logic that we have on the ship to address page. So when I 
created a new ship to address and you have seen the notification on this page, this is controlled by this part of functionality. And for this part of functionality, we have the interface that is called ship to alternate customer VT registration. And there is the method uh, that you can implement in your own way that is called handle country change in ship to address. So if you feel that uh, you need another implementation other than the default one, you can do that with this interface and with this method. The second setup consistency, it is um, connected both to ship to address table and to the customer table. Um, here, the idea is that uh, the setup needs to be consistent in the way that uh, the alternative VT customer VT registration needs to be only for countries other than the, than the customer one. Uh, and here we also have the interface uh, that is called alternative customer VT registration consist. Uh, and it has two methods, one for the customer uh, to, to check the ship to address, another one to check the customer consistency. Uh, if you feel that you need other implementation for this one, uh, you have the interface for that. Uh, and the last one, the most important, I guess, for the document, uh, this is everything that is happening in the sales header table. Here we have the interface alternative customer VT registration doc and several methods when we initialize the record, when we copy values from the customer, uh, on the ship to address change, on the VT country region change, on the bill to customer change, basically all the scenarios that you can imagine uh, in the sales document. If you want to change this logic, it is possible to do with this interface. So as you can see, um, the whole feature is highly, highly extensible. Um, and if you want to change any part of it, you can do that with your uh, interface implementation. Okay, thank you, Arthur. And we are on the end of our session. Uh, as a call to action, it will be Try, test this functionality. This is available in a public preview and it will be available for 25.0 version. So it will be immediately in uh, our major. And try, uh, we think that we improve a lot of things in, in the VAT. We started a few waves ago, so we introduced a few more uh, functionalities about VAT in previous period. You can find these videos on YouTube channel, but this one is something new and we will continue with uh, upgrading functionalities in VAT. Thank you for watching this session and please try it.